sorry. Then take your Bibles. Oh, kron kron. Say that this is my Bible. Kasi wini mi chow kron kron. Oh, say this is my Bible. Wini mi chow kron kron. Say it's the word of God. Kasi nyanko kwa asem. I believe. Mi chin ye wum ji. Everything. Di bi biara. In it. A wum. I am. Mi ye. What it says I am. Mi chow ni se se mi ye. I have. Mi wo. What it says I have. Mi chow ni se se mi wo. I can do. Mi ti nyan ye. What it says I can do. Mi chow ni se ye. As I hear the word, my life will never be the same. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. Shall we pray? Heavenly Father, we thank you for mercy. Thank you for your loving kindness. Thank you for how far you brought Bible Chapel. Thank you for this branch. Thank you for your loving kindness. We ask your mercy this morning to be with us in a very special way. I speak to every situation in this place. I speak to the sick to be healed. I declare walls of inhibitions are broken down. I declare yokes are broken down. In the name of Jesus. The Bible said at the mention of your name, every knee shall bow. We command knees to bow. We command knees to bow. In the name of Jesus. I curse the foundation of poverty. I curse the foundation of lack. I curse the foundation of disease. In the name of Jesus. Anything contending with us this morning. In the name of Jesus. May their foundations be broken. In the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit. Let Jesus be exalted. Let Jesus be exalted. Let the name of Jesus be exalted. We give you worship. Have your way in the mix of us. May no one live here the same. We will not live here the same. We are living here blessed. In Jesus precious name. Somebody say amen. amen. Please take your seats. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I said hallelujah. Amen. This morning, I am sharing with you a message I've entitled The Missing Link. And I'll pay me no chance to this. I'm going to go to another dimension of the message. The missing link. Hallelujah. Amen. The other day, and I don't know. Jesus. Yes. I love Jesus. Any Jesus who you pan. Jesus met a man. Yes, she up a baby. And told him, No catch any sale. Your sins are forgiven. Yet you burn your chill. And the, the, the Jew said, and the union is there. How dare he say your sins are forgiven? Because only God can forgive sins. And Jesus said, Your sins are forgiven. And the Bible said they were wondering. Then Jesus said, And the man was sick. So Jesus said to them, What are you people thinking about? Which one is more difficult? That your sins are forgiven. Or to say, Rise and walk. So Jesus said to the man, Rise up and walk. Then the Bible said, The man stood up. The man who has been broken stood up. Sorry. Only God can forgive sins. And Jesus is God who became a man. Hallelujah. Amen. That is why he's the only one who can save us. The Bible said there is no name given among men. 
the hundred man will be saved your name in heaven your name on the earth your name on the earth Jesus is a name I said Jesus is a name hallelujah amen Oh, I love Jesus. Jesus is not a messenger of God. No. Jesus is a message. <laughs> hallelujah. Amen. I said, Hallelujah. Amen. Muhammad, peace be unto his name, is a messenger Muhammad from Allah. Not our God. Allah is different from our God. Nobody should equate Allah to our God. Our God is different. The God of the Christian is a different God. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus does not speak the truth. Jesus is the truth. <laughs> so when he speaks, he is. <laughs> Hallelujah. Jesus is the exact imprint of the Father. Jesus is the Father who became flesh. That's why he can say to somebody, your sins are forgiven. When he sets you free, you shall be free indeed. Hallelujah. Oh. Jesus is the subject of the scriptures. All the scriptures talking about Jesus he is the reason for the scriptures. He is the lesson of the scriptures. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus is the totality of the Godhead. Jesus is the exact image of the invisible God. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus is the only appropriate ransom for sin. The Bible says, For we have all sinned and fall short of the glory of God. And we needed a ransom for sin. We needed a savior. And all men have sinned. And we need to present a man who is sinless. Your God became a man. I said, Your God became a man. And his name is Jesus. He is the only sinless man. He was not born by a man and a woman. He, he wrapped himself into a woman. He has to be born by a woman. So he entered into the womb of a woman. And he was born as a man. Hallelujah. Amen. That is why he's the only savior. He's the only one that can save you. Oh, I'm not talking to somebody here. I have a Sunday. Mm. Jesus, yes, is the Lamb of God that carries away the sins of the world. Jesus, yes, is the picture of the Father. The other day, Philip said, Philip, enough. Enough with talking about the Father. Show us the Father. And that will be okay for us. Then Jesus says, Philip, Philip, you have been with me for all this while. And you have not known who I am. I am the Father. I am the Father made you one. I am the Father. He has saved. That is why when I said you are healed, you were healed. That is why when I set you free, you shall be free indeed. Hallelujah. I am the Father. I am the Father. It's the same thing. Uh, yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus yes. is the word who became flesh. John chapter 1 verse 1. In the beginning was the word. The word was with God. And the word was God. All things were made by the word. All things were made by the word. And without the word was not anything made that was made. 
all here. <laughs> well, do you read the Bible at all? All things were made. All things were made. Were created. By the word. And verse 14. And the word became flesh. And the word. Which was God. Became flesh. That is why he is the only one who can save you. The Bible says anyone that shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. This morning, if you have faith enough to believe on Jesus, I declare salvation is your portion. If you have faith in the name of Jesus, I declare healing is your portion. I say deliverance is your portion. I say breakthrough is your portion. I say freedom is your portion. Jesus is a father who became a human being. Amen. Amen. That's why he can say. Hallelujah. He is the way. He is the truth. He is the life. Jesus. Is life. In him is life. Jesus. Is the thought. And the essence. And the logic. Of God. Jesus. Yes, is God who became visible. The other day, and no, no, I asked a question. I don't know how many got it right. Can I ask one more time? Has anybody seen God before? Think about it before you answer. Has anybody, has any human being seen God before? Think about it. God is invisible, isn't it? God is cannot be seen, isn't it? But has any human being seen God before? When? Those who said yes, when? Yeah. Uh -huh. He uh, Jesus Christ is God. Uh -huh. So the disciples have seen him before. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, put your hands together. That's the correct answer. When you tell Muslims this thing, if you tell them in any Islamic country, they will kill you. They will kill you. The reason why Jesus was killed by the scribes and the Pharisees is because he said, I am the Son of God. Why did he call himself Son of God? He called himself Son of God because he has become flesh. And they said, I will pay you a man. Make yourself equal with God. We will kill you. So he asked them, Why do you want to kill me? If you look at the miracles I'm doing, then they say not about the miracles. It's because you, a human being, you make yourself God. The other day, he said, before Abraham was, I am. <laughs> then he said, That's blasphemy. Let's kill him. <laughs> That's blasphemy. Before Abraham was, I am. That is God talking. God didn't want him to become invisible. So he became visible. Some of you here, you've been praying to see God. The other day, Moses, Moses said, God, I want to see you. I've heard you not. I have, I've heard you not. I want to see you. And God said, You cannot. <laughs> you cannot. Because I'm a spirit. When you see me, you will roast. You will die. So you know, I will pass. My glory will pass. I will hide you in the air. So the Bible said, God hid Moses. And the glory of God passed. And then he, uh, 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 Moses saw the bad part of God. All the time, human beings have been talking. I want to see God. How many want to see God? Uh -huh, uh -huh. You want to see God. Yeah. People here want to see God. Yes. The other day, God has been speaking to the children of Israel. And then he said, It's enough. I said, yes. I want to talk to them myself. Let's go and tell them I'm coming to talk to them. And the Bible said, They gathered them at Sinai. And God descended. 
Your eyes The Bible said they ran. And there's a Moses. You don't go fit talk to this guy. Let's go talk to him. They can't tell, tell us. So God decided to become a man. Then he just became a man. He said, People don't believe it. If you are here, you don't believe that Jesus is God. You are not born again yet. Because that is the message. The message is that God became a man. That's the message. That's why Jesus is the only one who qualifies to save you. When you believe in him, you will be saved. On the day of judgment, it's not about what you did. It's about the way that you believe in Jesus. Who is Jesus? He's not a small boy or God. No. Jesus is God. Who became a man. Hallelujah. Amen. That is why he said, Before Abraham was, I am. Hallelujah. Amen. He said, Hallelujah. Amen. Somebody put your hands together for Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus yes. is the visibility of the invisible God. Jesus yes. is the everlasting Father. Jesus yes. is the Prince of Peace. Jesus yes. is the exact reflection of who the Father is. Jesus yes. is truth. Peace personified. Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6. What I have just done is what we call precursor of a message. <laughs> I have talked about Jesus every day before I preach anything about him. For unto us a child is born. Now I want a unto us a son is given a child will be born this is several years before Jesus was born then the prophet Isaiah God gave him the opportunity to see he said for unto us a child is born he said he's a son he is given to us and the government shall be upon his shoulders and his name and his name shall be called wonderful counselor the mighty God the mighty God his name is the mighty God he's the one in church the friend who said the mighty God hallelujah not only that he shall be called the everlasting father the son the child mm. that will be born, mm. his name mm. shall be called the everlasting father. Mm. The anytime English we use the word the, I we are the talking about one. definite article so in the native definite article. The, 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 it means there is only one, and he's talking about the one. Yeah. Jesus is the everlasting father. That is why he can save you. That's why he can heal you. That's why he can deliver you. Is somebody here in church? Tell us somebody believe. He is a prince of peace. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We have not believed in some things. Oh. We have believed in the everlasting Father. Amen. Amen. I said, Amen. Amen. So when He enters into you, you will succeed by force. When He enters into you, your story will change by force. This morning, I demand a change in somebody's life. This morning, somebody's status is changing. Because the one who has entered, the weakness. You may have his name shall be called the mighty God the everlasting father the prince of peace I command a 
made a change in your life. Jesus said, "Jehovah, I'm going to bring you." I said, "If I made a change in your life, Jesus said, "Jehovah, I'm going to bring you." The other day, and no, no, no. The other day, and no, no, no. Jesus and the disciples were walking. Yes, no, no, sure for now. And he said, "Move, I'm coming." So they went ahead. And when it was time for him to go, there was no boat left. But he was God. I said he was God. I said he was God. So he didn't scratch his head. What am I going to do? I declare to somebody here from today, stop scratching your head. You know what to do. I said you know what to do. I said, Hallelujah. Amen. He said, I said, Human beings cannot walk on water. But I am God. Hey, I am God. Hey. Oh, he step on the water. He step on the water. I don't have keys. The Bible says, while he was walking on the water, the disciples saw him. And they said, It's a ghost. You don't know you are on the water. Walk on water. Then he said, It is okay. Amen. Don't be afraid. Then Peter said, and Peter said Can I get some pictures here this morning? Can I have some pictures here this morning? Peter said, Peter said Jesus, yes, is it really you? He said, Yeah. He said, It is you. Say something for you to come. I also want to walk on water. And Jesus said, Come. The word is enough. Come. Come here. And the Bible says, Bible says Peter, Petro, human being, he walk on water. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. He walk on the water. But as a human being, he saw the waves. Then he said, I'll be a fisherman. For 30 years. And I know these waves. They are clear. So he became terrified. Then he began to sink. Where are Jesus? He said, Jesus, accept me. And the Bible said, The man walking on the water, he stretched his hand and pulled Peter out. Ah. 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 The man of Galilee. He is a savior. I say he's a savior. This morning I want your faith in him to be strong. May he him. It's not here. He's God. Hallelujah. Amen. Say hallelujah. Amen. It doesn't matter where you are now. If you are sinking, then shout, Jesus, save me. The Bible says he stretched out his hand. He put the man on the water. And he carried him to the boat. Two of them on the water. They are even heavier than one. Walking on the water. Carrying another man. Walking on the water. Somebody put your hands together for Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. That's why one day he stood. He said, Come unto me. All you that are tired and heavy laden. And I will give you rest. Listen. All the prophets of the Old Testament. When they want to prophesy, they say, That say the Lord. That say the Lord. That say the Lord. When they asked uh, this guy, what's his name? John the Baptist. Who are you? He said, I am the voice crying in the wilderness. As a son of God, already prophesied by Isaiah. Prepare you the way of the Lord. I am, I, I am here baptizing with water. And there's somebody is coming after me. Whose shoes? The lace. Me, I am not qualified to lace his shoes. Somebody is coming. I am not qualified to lace his shoes. When he comes, he shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with power. to me. When Jesus came, he never said that say the Lord. After he said that say the Lord, say who the Lord? He is the Lord. The Lord. So when he came, he said, "You have heard." In the old, that shall not do this. That shall not do this. But I say, I say, oh, I have to get to somebody here. When Jesus talks, he speaks. 
speak will come Hallelujah. Amen. with authority he can save I say he's the only one who can save this morning if he lives in you so, or two more. Then I have an announcement for you. Your story is changing. Your story is changing. Hallelujah. Amen. Say hallelujah. Amen. So now that you sit down, thank you. Now that you are in him. There is something I want to share with you in five minutes. The missing link. Something that will connect you to what he has done for you. And something that will make you see clearly this Jesus who lives in sin. Are you saying this song? I found a new way of living. I found a new life in Christ. I've got the fruit of the Spirit and abiding, abiding in the vine. Abiding in the vine. Abiding in the vine. Love, joy, health, peace, he has made them mine. I've got prosperity, power, and victory. Abiding, abiding in the vine. I found a new way of living. <laughs> That's a song. I found a new life in Christ. Hey, I've got the fruit of the Spirit. And abiding, abiding in the vine. I want somebody here to live here with a new way of living with a new life hallelujah Amen. Romans chapter 8 verse 16 to 17 let's enter into this scripture let's dissect the scripture let's operate the scripture let's eat from that scripture let's let let uh, yeah, yeah, we'll go into the scripture. Uh -huh. Then we, we will take all the all the honey from it, the nectar from it, and add it to our lives. The, the spirit itself bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. Somebody say I'm a child of God. Hey. Somebody say I'm a child of God. Oh, me a uh, <laughs> so when I preach these things, uh, I don't want to digress, you know. Somebody say I'm a child of God. Oh, me a uh, the other day, and I don't know. I told you me catch it all. that that title. A child of God no? is not a cliche. It's not religious jargon. It's not feel good. Phrases. I wish I have other adjectives to describe it. Say I'm a child of God. The other day, no, no, no. Somebody I know talked to me. She was not happy at all. But when she got to her office, her office, she, the company belongs to her. And she has employed people working. And one of the ladies in the company saw her in the morning and she greeted her. And the greeting was, Hey, good morning, mommy. Yeah, mommy, you are welcome. Yeah, she said, I was offended. I was so hurt. Shata should not be the greetings. The greeting should be, Good morning, madam. Because I'm not her mommy. Mommy is what my children call me. So I don't expect my worker in the office to call me mommy. Oh, yeah? So I thought about it. So she told her, Next time, greet me. Good morning, madam. Because you are not one of my children. My children call me. Mommy. Amen. Amen. I understood her. Because she used to be calling by mommy at home. She doesn't want to get to the office. What well, somebody is supposed to say, Madam, with respect to call her mommy. She is not a child. So that status of children of God is not a cliche. And it has a big and deep meaning. Anybody you call your child biologically a woman biological a woman means there is something in you which is in the bed so when we are called children of god we could have been called servants of god we should have been called 
followers of God. We could have been called followers of God. We could have been called something else. But we were called children because our God was to be a father. So we were not giving birth through a principle of dying resurrection. Jesus said, yes, say, when a seed remains one, it's one. But when the seed dies, that's the one and it germinates you yeah. get a lot of yeah. seeds so jesus came to die when he died and he resurrected you and i were giving birth to hallelujah amen you and i came alive anybody that believes in him you become part of him it means there's something in you that is in christ there's something in christ that is in you hallelujah amen or let's say you adopted to be called a child the last time nano papa david preached about it when you were telling the story the last time the story was sweet to my ears. So I wanted you to continue. But you cut it somewhere. Uh, I thought you were going to say a man wanted to share his properties. And uh, he wants to be sure which of the children are his children. Because it is only mothers who can tell who the children are. <laughs> you know that? In this country. I mean, in this country. In this country, somebody we know, big man in this country. One day he fought with the wife. The wife said, oh, 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 oh. Even the children, they are not yours. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> the man said, huh? The children have been spending money. Oh, yeah, to the hospital. Let's go and do uh, DNA. Uh, paternity test. Oh, they did paternity test. Yeah, yeah. No, no, the children belong to him. And do you know when him what brother fight? The woman is making him to spend too much on the children. So do this, do this, take them to this school, take them to America, to this holiday, to this holiday. Say, ah, I'm, we are spending too much money. That is how come the fight. And then I'm going to go and buy it. Yeah. One of the ways you have children is also to go to the top. Take somebody shall. Somebody who has no mother and father. Or somebody that mother and father has given up. Who is an orphan. In an orphanage. You go to the court. They sign. And there's a document. That shows that this is my child. So you can give birth with biological war. Or you can adopt with God documentation. All of them become children. So in any way, we are children of God. Now let's go. Let's continue. Hey! This one is a meat. And sometimes I scream this way because that is how I feel on my inside. And if that's the way, if are you a child of God? Are you a child of God? I want to hear you a child of God. Somebody is not sure. So lift your hand. Let's take you to become children of God. Lift your right hand. Say Heavenly Father, I thank you that Jesus came to die for me. I believe with all my heart that Jesus is my Savior. Because of me, he died on the tree in Calvary. He was buried. On the third day, I believe that he rose from the dead for me. By this, Jesus, yes, come into my heart. I surrender my heart. I believe with all my heart that you are the Christ. You are my Savior. You are my healer. I believe. So I'm saved. Thank you, Father, for salvation. How many of you said that prayer? You said that prayer? By that prayer. You are connected. I said, by that prayer, you are connected to Christ. You are not a child of God. And if children, hairs, hairs of God, 
Tonight I talk to somebody here Right on the line Hands of God Hey yeah Everything that belongs to God. Today when we close church, get mad. Small. Uh, get mad small. Be thinking about it. Mm. If I'm a child, the Bible says if so say, I'm a child, then and I'm a hey. It means anything that belongs to my father. God belongs to me. I have access. I have access. I have access. Somebody say I have access. Yes, somebody say I have access. Yes. Something is happening here. Which will help my message. How many of you say that my hair, I have not combed my hair? Pastor, check. Have you seen it? I have not come my hair. Because when I finished dressing today, in my own room, I couldn't find my, my brush. Because somebody in my house enters my room and took the brush and took it away. And she, when she finished using it, oh, yeah, yeah, no. that's Golda. She's not here, so I'm happy. It's not God since Golda. Uh, she used my brush. Oh, you see my brush. She took it out. Oh, you be, yeah. So I finished by the, and I couldn't. Yeah, yeah. I said, I said, hey, God has come for it. Be far. Be far. And so I said, when I go downstairs, I will go and borrow yeah. some. Yeah. I yeah. asked God to give me so his own is very small. It doesn't work. So I tried to use it, but it didn't go well. So who in my house has the audacity the audacity to enter my room and take something there they are only my children and when they enter the room they don't need to ask the other day I put something in the fridge one of them took it without permission and when I asked I said so what <laughs> so what I drank it so Yes, you know who do that. You know who do that. <laughs> yes, yes, daddy, I took it. Uh-huh. So uh-huh. I was like, okay, okay, it's all right. I didn't ask me, but it's okay. <laughs> if you are children, oh yeah, the Bible says you are so many. You have access. Hallelujah. Amen. I said, Hallelujah. Amen. The other day, and no, no, no. somebody said, Obikase. when I go to heaven, I will ask God questions. When you get to heaven, God will be asking the questions. God will ask you, ah, but why didn't you take some of the gold? I don't want for gold. Why didn't you use the things that are available? Then somebody didn't know. Then the video, this video will be shown to you. When I am telling you that you have access, and you have access, I say somebody you have access. I say you have access. The scripture says, "If say, and if children say your mother have the hands of God." Then he added something more. And joined hands with Christ. Jesus did it for. He's the firstborn. Yes, who died. So we are his backbones. So we 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 this word joint hands means both Jesus and us have to it. We don't share, we just use it. This morning, may whatever belongs to you manifest. I say, may what belongs to you manifest. I curse lack in your life. I curse sickness in your life. I curse nobody is in. I curse it in your life. I declare. There shall be a manifestation of the child of God. There shall be a manifestation of who you really are. Say I'm a child of the Most High. Hallelujah. Amen. In the next two minutes, I finish this message. So let's go to our scripture. Let's read Galatians chapter four, verse one. Underline hers, eh? Hers. Underline it. Then hence, hence of God. Then go to Galatians chapter 4, verse 1. Galatians chapter 4, verse 1. 
We are going to pray for five minutes this morning. Now I say, now me say that the word or the deep war. Now I say that the word or the deep war. Hey, is everyone in church? Yeah. Are you sleeping? Oh, that. How can you sleep under such shouting? I am shouting today because my wife is not here. Yeah. I have told her to warn me when I'm shouting. Uh, God, the other day I listened to myself. And I was shouting. I asked myself, why are you shouting? Just speak lightly, smoothly, slow, slowly. They will hear. Aren't you hearing? As I'm speaking, aren't you hearing? So why am I shouting? So I have told her to use her eyes to warn me. Stop shouting. Speak slowly. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I saw the, the French. Oh, the French woman is not here. She would have come for me because I just spoke some French. C'est bon, c'est bon. C'est bon, c'est bon. I called somebody. I went to French class. We call French at the same. And then and, uh, I told the French teacher. Let me catch your I call say. our office in Abidjan. The French office of Abidjan. Anytime I see the French master, the then the my donation changes. And now me catch All of a sudden, uh, you know. So I said uh, I called uh, Abidjan. And, and, and uh, I said uh, to the, and, uh, the person on the line. Now me catch it. Bonjour, <laughs> bonjour, bonjour, madame. <laughs> She said something. Bonjour, monsieur. Uh, I said, uh, je m'appelle Georges Alote. J'appelle de ILO Accra. S'il vous plaît. Uh, uh, Est-ce que, est que je peux parler à, à monsieur uh, Amon? Uh, she was like, uh, monsieur Amon, uh, elle ne parle pas. Elle ne parle pas. Elle ne parle pas. Elle ne parle pas. Elle ne that's why I can speak. Now I say that the hell. Somebody said the hell. Is the hell. Is that how they, they pronounce it? Yeah. As long as he is a child, he is not different. Nothing from a servant. Though he, he, he be Lord of all. And so. And so. And so. So the missing link. Is growth. You are the one who owns everything. As long as you are a baby, nobody can give you the car keys. Which father will give seven year old boy car keys? Which father will do that? What will be the name of the father? That father will be called what? Give me the name. A father who gives car key and carry a seven year old boy, put him behind a Mercedes Benz, give him the ignition key and tell him, swing the glue. Then he said, drive on. Why did we? Why would you describe that father? What? Irresponsible father. Wow. Why can't we preach? We are My father said Jonas, but Jonas like I. He said that father will be irresponsible. So Nimna said here. So the the father is waiting. In the digi chain. Till the child grows up. And you know what I found out? When children grow up. It's not the father that normally gives them things. They go for it. They know who they are. Eh, they know who they are. Eh, the last time I, I, I told you what Gossin did to us. Eh, where, where was that? That was two weeks ago. Eh? Eh, two weeks ago. When we closed service. I was going to drive our car. When I got there, he was there. He said, go to the back. <laughs> so I said, what is it? But before then, I heard the mother saying, "Ah, I can't many what I say." It means today they said we will sit at the back, or we will not drive the car. So I got him. I said, "Get down, get down." He said, "Go to the back. Just go to the back. You are tired. You are preach. Go to the back." I stood there for a while. I said, "Jesus Christ," because I like to drive myself. He is. I went to the back. <laughs> <laughs> because he wants to try. <laughs> because he knows who he is. He doesn't need permission. Sometimes he will need permission. Sometimes he doesn't need permission. He takes what belongs to him. Hallelujah. Amen. May somebody here grow up. I said, may somebody here grow up and take what belongs to you. You are a child of God. It's not a cliche. 
cliché. You are a child of God. Oh, yeah, the different. It is not a cliché. And you see a cliché. I say you are a child of God. Oh, yeah, young couple. It is not a cliché. And you see a cliché. Yeah, betty. Hallelujah. Amen. Paul said, policy. When I was a child, I thought like a child. I spoke like a child. I behaved like a child. But when I grow up, I gave up all childish ways. Hallelujah. Amen. What will you do? Then I'll be here. When you see somebody playing Tokloko, so be there, grow them. eating a sword. You know the last time I told you. When we were children, in fact, the only time I remember my childhood is when I used to play mommy and papa with some girl in the area. That one, I don't know her name. That's how the only thing my brain can remember in front of the toilet in our house. Yeah, in front of the toilet. We'll be playing and I'll be funny. They will say, she'll be sending me. Go, go and bring this. Now go. Then she'll be cooking. When she finish, she'll fetch some of the food. And I'll be eating the sand as food. But this, you eat it like this. Where did they, they you drop the meat? Ah, they say, it's sweet, oh. It's sweet, oh. I don't do that anymore. If I even see me doing that, what would you think? Hello. So there is a behavior. That is for children. In Ghana, in we have two names for children and grown ups. When you are a child, in Ghana they call you Beken. 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 When you are grown up, they call you Onupa. It was later I was told what it means. Beken means Beken means Beken. It means somebody you have always to be talking to him about the same thing. Uh -huh. You have to be repeating it. You have to be begging. You have to be talking about uh -huh. about uh -huh. means Enua. 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 So the baby Christian into Christian is the one you have to tell him to pray. You have to pray. <laughs> You have to come to the prayer meeting. We are doing a leaders meeting. Uh, yeah, but that leader is a baby. So you have to call and let hey, leader, we are having this with you. Uh, it is prayer uh, party. Hey, there's somebody I call. He oh, say, Oh, today is today is first Friday. She. Baby, 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 baby. The baby forget. We get a brush your teeth. How many of you have heard that thing before? Go and brush your teeth. Go and wash your face. Who do we talk to them? Who are the people who do that? Who are they? Babies. Have you brushed your teeth? Have you brushed your teeth? What do you say? When you grow up and somebody knows they kill you. Have you brushed your teeth? How do you feel? Who do you think you're talking to? Am I a baby? Am I a child? Have you brushed your teeth? Sometimes my wife, my wife does that. Once we are going to, maybe I ate something, which is like a, a Jenny Jenny kind of thing. So when we are going out, then she, have you, have you? Uh, then I'll tell her, what, what, what are you thinking? What are you thinking? I've done it. I know I'm not a baby. Yeah, it's not easy to be a husband. No. <laughs> if my wife were in the house, this thing would not have happened. She would have made sure that I comb my hair properly because she'd be sizing me from head to toe. Have you done this? Have you done this? I've not done this. Yeah. Receive grace to grow spiritually. Pray, fast, holiness. Don't do this. Don't do that. As long as you remain a baby, what is yours is waiting for you. Receive grace to grow. As I receive grace to grow, I receive it. I, I think about this message every time. I preached it before. I'll preach it another time. Because I want you to hear it. Because the, is the, the devil cheats us by keeping us babies. Do you know, as long as you're a baby, there's something for you you won't get it. So it is a trick of the, of the devil. All the devil does is give you a baby. Don't pray. 
Don't win souls. Don't go to the work. Don't do the church work. Let these people do. Prayer is for these people. But uh, uh, work in the church for these people. You don't go. You, you don't want problem. As for you, you don't want problem. You don't join any department. As for you, just come to Sunday service. Don't get yourself inside. Because you don't want any problem. It's babies who talk that way. And babies who behave that way. When you grow up, when you are his sister, father's house, when you hear what they hear, you must take it for shame because you have grown up. You know what belongs to you. And when you when God says my son is grown, the things will just come. Hallelujah. Amen. I can tell you, God bless you. You go home, you don't see the blessing. Not because I am a false prophet, but because you are a baby. You must grow spiritually to take what belongs to you. Receive that grace. Receive that grace. In Jesus' name. Stand to your feet. Lift your right hand to heaven. Whatever is around you that looks like babies, you can stop it right now through prayer. 